Ever seen a Mexican wave at a sporting event? The effect is a pretty cool display that goes all around the stadium, but no one has had to move seats. All waves can transfer energy from one place to another without transferring any matter. This is done by a series of disturbances or vibrations that carry the energy. Just like the people in their seats, only moving up and down when it's their turn. Waves can transfer energy through solids, liquids, gases and empty spaces, otherwise known as vacuums. There are two types of waves, which we look at in more detail in another video, but the basic features are the same. These four words describe different properties of waves. Let's discover what each one means. The frequency of a wave is the number of complete waves passing a fixed point in a given amount of time. This time period is usually one second. This is what one complete wave looks like. So if this was our time period, the frequency would be five. Frequency is given the symbol F and is measured in units called Hertz. Hertz measure how many complete cycles per second. So how many people in our Mexican wave stand up every second? The frequency and period are often confused. The frequency refers to how often something happens, whereas the period refers to the time it takes to happen. The period of a wave is the time for one complete cycle, so the time taken for one person to stand up, wave and sit down. This would be measured in seconds. When something happens repeatedly, we say that the event is periodic and refer to the time for the event to repeat itself. The period of the Earth to orbit the Sun is 365 days. The period of a day is 24 hours. The period of a typical class at school is 45 minutes. Now for wavelength. The wavelength is the distance between a point on one wave and the same point on the next wave. For example, two peaks or two troughs. Wavelength is given the symbol lambda from the Greek letter and is usually measured in meters. Wavelength can vary hugely in size. X-rays are very short, visible light is here, and FM radio waves are much longer. So we've looked at the frequency, period, and wavelength so far. Let's finish with amplitude. As waves travel, they create disturbance. The amplitude of a wave is the distance from the maximum disturbance to the undisturbed position. Think of a very flat sea, and then an incoming wave. The amplitude is the height of the top of the wave from the flat sea. Can you add the labels to these waves and work out the frequency? Notice that the top one is distance and the bottom one is time. Pause the video, work it out, and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? In another video, we'll be looking at wave speed equation and connecting wavelengths and frequencies. For now, you just need to know what these four key words mean. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.